So I've always had an interest in history, and in particular, the history of our agency and the game wardens in Northwest Colorado. And early on, I found a lot of articles that pertain to Mr. James Campbell. And James Campbell was a game warden in the Craig area from 1920 until his death in 1945. One of those articles in particular mentioned that he had died while he was checking a couple hunters east of Craig. And so that kind of piqued my interest. With that said, I went to the Museum of Northwest Colorado here in Craig and was able to find, with the help of museum staff, an official coroner's inquest. And in that inquest, it stated the facts of his death. It became quickly apparent it was a line of duty death, unknown at the time with our agency. And with that document, I was able to present that to the leadership team and to get them to recognize as an agency that Mr. Campbell's death was a line of duty death. Once the agency decided that it was a line of duty death, then the next step was drafting letters to the National Fallen Officer Memorial Fund and the local Colorado Fallen Officer Memorial at Camp George West in Golden, Colorado. And with that, there was a lot of additional information that had to be provided. That was pictures, census data, obituary, death certificates, and the like. Once we got all that together and presented that, we packaged it and sent it off, and then we sat back and waited. And it wasn't too long until we did get the go-ahead that he would be added to both of those memorials. These walls are vast, and they are filled with names of fallen officers from all over the country. Our memorial, your memorial, pays tribute to the heroic spirit of those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And on the walls of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial are stories and memories. Stories that inspire us and memories that cannot be extinguished. The number of names and the families and everything that were there were just spectacular. Each year, with heavy hugs, we carve their names in marble so that their stories will never be forgotten. It is my honor and privilege to welcome all of you to this milestone occasion, the 35th annual Candlelight Vigil, to honor the service and sacrifice of Americans, law enforcement professionals, and their families. To pay them proper tribute, each of their names will be read as part of the ceremony and will forever be etched on the walls of the National Memorial and in the hearts of a grateful nation. James Miller Campbell was born in Canada on January 18, 1873. In 1920, Campbell would begin his career as the deputy game warden in Craig, Colorado, a position he would hold for the next 25 years. On October 5, 1945, around 11.30 in the morning, game warden Campbell was unintentionally struck by a vehicle side view mirror while checking the licenses of two hunters just east of Craig, Colorado. Campbell was rushed to the hospital in Hayden, where he would eventually succumb from his injuries 10 days later, on October 15th, at the age of 72. Known as Colorado Parks and Wildlife's Forgotten One, on May 5th, 2023, Game Warden James Campbell would be inducted into the Colorado Law Enforcement Memorial. James M. Campbell, 72, died from injuries received in an auto pedestrian accident on August 5th, 1945. Eight days later, on May 13th, his name was read aloud in front of our nation's capital, formally inducting him to the National Law Enforcement Fallen Officer Memorial in Washington, D.C.
forgotten no more. From the state of Colorado, James Miller Campbell. We must not let these officers' death be in vain. They will not be forgotten. Their spirit of courage and self-sacrifice will live on through everyone. When duty whispered, whispered low, you must. These men all replied, I can't. <laughs>